Hello again, folks. Here we go with another beautiful 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor with 96,000 miles and only 1442 idle hours. 1,442 idle hours. The vehicle came to me silver. Folks, before I start, the vehicle came to me silver when I first bought it. And just so you know, I had the whole car repainted due to sun damage and clear coat damage on the vehicle. There were three areas that were affected and it made no sense for me to spot paint the vehicle and uh, I decided to have the whole car repainted the original silver and here she is she looks great and she is ready to go folks the whole vehicle has been reconditioned inside and out but start starting I will say that the vehicle does have a full brand new paint job which is about a, maybe about a month old all right, let's start. 96,000 miles with only 1442 idle hours. Vehicle has been completely serviced, detailed, and it is turnkey ready to go anywhere across the country. You want a driver? Go ahead. Rest assured, you will make it home and back. He's got fresh new window tint, medium shade all around. Folks, as you can see, all four steel wheels have been reconditioned. What I mean by that, they have been repainted. So they are back to new condition. Vehicle is in immaculate running condition and shape. E85 okay, flex view okay for this bad boy. Folks, there is nothing wrong with this car. For those of you guys out there looking for the perfect car, new paint, new scratch, no scratches, correction, no scratches, no door dings, here she is waiting for you. No holes anywhere in the body whatsoever. Before I forget, vehicle does have a set of new Goodyear RSA takeoff tires. The ones that the car came with, they were about 40%. I didn't feel comfortable, so guess what? You got a new set. I do have a, a new set of corner lamps. I do have a new set of uh, Handlamp hand assembly with new bulbs in the front. Folks, I mean, I, I had the whole car repainted. Uh, just so you know, it was not a uh, Mako cheap paint job. This was pretty expensive uh, for me. But I wanted to give the car a whole brand new facelift. Uh, I'm sure someone out there will appreciate it. So you got new bulbs on the front. For the headlamps, I did throw in a set of... Uh, Sylvania Silver Star uh, headlamp bulbs, so it's a bit brighter at night So it does help when you are driving at night I have had the chance to drive it at night myself, so they are pretty bright Once again guys no scratches no door dings the whole car has been repainted the same color silver I wanted to keep it the same so here she is Now, if you are in the market for the perfect car, ladies and gentlemen, I have just a car here for you. Just go inside. Let me start from the back. Folks, the, uh, on the rear doors, the door locks and switches are in place. So yes, doors are fully functional from inside of the vehicle. I do have a vinyl rear seat with all seat belts and buckles in place. I got a little minor cutout over there on the vinyl floor. It does have vinyl floor. One little slip over there. I'm not sure how that happened. I, I think that's the word. That's the way the car came with. And if I'm not mistaken, the wires. Uh, there were some wires sticking out of there. Okay. So they, uh, the department probably uh, did that. Perfect driver's side seat 
perfect passenger side seat. Before I forget, I do have a brand new aftermarket center console there. So you can go ahead and put your coffee, your sodas, and your arm right there. Let me clean this up here for us. Folks, before I forget, there's like a little tiny little hole here. It's covered with silicone. Three little holes right there. I'm not sure where that came from, but uh, this came with the car when I bought it. One little tiny hole right there. Um, that's about it. I do have a uh, basic AM FM stereo there, guys. It does work. Let me see if I can clean this up a little bit more. I do have a working cruise control honk does work electric uh, retractable pedals right there let's go ahead and fire her up pressure lights off uh, folks uh, the vehicle does have 95,000 miles but let's go ahead and run that up to 96,000 miles I am responsible however for 767 miles driven so far yes I love this car so much that I have driven it driven her this much 1442 idle hours light works dumb lights do work stereo does work courtesy light remains on when the door is open so this has the uh, blackout option is on so when you open the doors the light will turn on over here okay Stereo works. Let's get to the trunk. Let me clean this up here, guys. Wow, seven minutes already. I better hurry up. Ta -ta -ta. As you can see, I do have a uh, full spare wheel in the back. When I first got the car, there was no spare tire, so I had to go out and get a whole new wheel and a tire. Um, floor jack hold down pin in place so yes the car is ready to go anywhere um, the spare tire is about 90% 80% rubber under correction 8% rubber so it's pretty good still it is a good year RSA before I forget uh, this vehicle is an x-ray 5 x5 five rear axle which is a 327 327 uh, track lock Uh, let's get under the hood here once again ladies and gentlemen this vehicle is in great running condition immaculate running condition in shape fully done and yes she doesn't need anything whatsoever just take it to your local DMV and get it registered to your name I do have the California smog that was that has already been done I did that about maybe two weeks ago here she is Super strong, super fast, and yes, she does look mean going down the road. Starting right to left, brand new air filter, throttle body was service. I do have a new Motorcraft Platinum Spark Plugs, full synthetic oil service. Transmission has been serviced, Motorcraft, Motorcraft fluid and filter. Air conditioner has been recharged, so it's nice and cold. I do have a uh, new AC Doco heavy duty battery. Folks, just so you know, I do. Uh, I did had a uh, motorcraft water pump installed into the vehicle because the one that was there it was making noise. For those of us, for those of us that are familiar with the uh, water pump, when they're going bad or the bearing is starting to go bad, it will make a humming noise that echoes through the whole car. It wasn't as bad, 
however I caught it, I replaced it. I do have a uh, new dry belt and a new, a new tensioner down there. So I replaced those three. The uh, radiator appears to be in new conditions with the fan shroud and module from the department, which is a big plus. Brakes are new all around from the department and also the hood, hood supports. I got two new hood supports on the hood. The ones that came with the car, they were weak. One was holding, the other one was already too soft and weak, so I went ahead and had them replaced. On my 10th minute, so I better hurry up. Once again, folks, this is a 2011 with 96,000 miles, 1442 idle hours. Vehicle has been completely serviced, it is ready to go. Just a last final look here. If you should have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me and uh, I'll be more than happy to help you. All right, folks, I uh, hope you guys are staying safe out there. I know it's uh, madness with all this pandemic going around. Uh, COVID-19, folks, please stay safe. Keep your family safe. This is the Crown Victoria guy signing off. Thank you and God bless.